Right now, we're going to make a truncated tetrahedron using an 8-inch circle and tape. The first thing that you need to do is fold your circle in half twice. so that you get two diameters, the distance all the way across your circle, and four radiuses. This will give you the center of your circle. Step number two is to fold a cord down to the center. So take any point on the outside of your circle and fold it right into the middle. You're going to end up doing this three times so that you end up with an equilateral triangle. Once you have your equilateral triangle, you need to take one of the points, fold it straight down to the base of the triangle, forming a trapezoid. The next step is to take each of your corners and fold them in to the middle of the base as well to form a right trapezoid. And then form it form in the other side to get a rectangle. Once you have your rectangle, you'll need to open it back up to your trapezoid and fold each of the corners over to form a smaller equilateral triangle. Once you open this equilateral triangle, it will form a pyramid with a triangular base. Once you have your pyramid, you'll need to open it back up to your original equilateral triangle and take any one of the points and fold it down to your center where all three of your cords, or your folds that made your cords, come together forming a different trapezoid. From there, you're going to need to do the same thing with each corner, folding them to the middle to give you a regular hexagon. With your regular hexagon, you can push the pieces together to form your truncated tetrahedron. This is where the tape's going to need to come in. You're going to need to tape pieces together to put them together. So grab your tape. You won't need much. I would suggest putting two of your top triangles together, taping it over, and folding your other triangle over the top, and taping it along the edges. This gives you your truncated tetrahedron, and if you make 20 of these, you can put them together to form another shape.